Fourth thing is, again, that there's this redemption. What happens is when Yaakov and Esau come together again, they embrace, they kiss, and they weep. And uh, much as we've done here today in getting together, and uh, basically, as with Yaakov and Esau, this has been a time of renewal, not of rivalry, and a time of comfort, not confrontation. And finally, I'd like to end. And uh, I'd like to say this in closing. Uh, that last week in the Parsha, we read about the birth of all 11, 11 of Yaakov's sons out of 12, except for one. And that happens this week. And this week, in this week's Parsha, Ben Yami, the youngest son, is born. And as I thought about that, that really kind of filled me with a lot of tenderness and a, and a nice feeling because I thought the Shabbos that I'm first together with my youngest brother again, we read the Parsha of the birth of the youngest son of Yaakov and the 12 tribes of Israel. And um, that's really what I want to say. And uh, to Shelley, I would like to say uh, a Mazel Tov. And um, I would like, um, on behalf of myself, I would like to say Baruch Haba. And actually, as I thought about it, I said Baruch Haba HaMakom. A blessed is the person that uh, comes into this place. Again, HaMakom. And I feel a little bit like, I think the term is uh, Shaliyah Sipur. Is that it? Sipur. Sipur. Like a messenger uh, from people in Minneapolis. Uh, Mahatan the Garbers, who also personally asked me to wish you uh, a mazel tov, and they said, um, how long has your mother been cooking for this? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I would also, on behalf of Joe Ryan, ask me to do one thing. He asked me to say a bracha, and the bracha is, and you can all join me, it's a shechianu. Uh, all the people in this room, Baruch Hashem being together for the first time in I don't know how many years. So, Baruch HaTah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Ha'am, Shekhiyahu, V'Kiyamanu, V'Hiyamanu, 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 Amen. I'll read Kriyat Nafan, though, before you drink. Baruch HaTah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Ha'am, Borei Kriyat Nafan. Amen. Amen. Now, just one more thing. I would just like to say L'Chaim, Shali, L'Chaim and Michelle, L'Chaim Tovim, uh, a life of goodness, a fine bracha, a, a life of blessing, um, a fine parnasa, like the green spinach, a life of parnasa. And that's really all I want to say. And then I just like to say, Simon Tabu, Mazel Tabu,
how you what you drew upon. Um, and I also think since it's Thanksgiving, if we can all um, well, drawing upon what Sandy said about a few things. One is the idea that the idea of place, of where we are. And <clears throat> when he drew on the idea of place, he um, brought the idea of the physical place, how we, from this house, people have gone out to Alaska, to Israel. And as you said that, Sandy, I was thinking about our grandparents, about and how they came to the United States from Europe. And, and through that act, enabled us to be mobile. In, a, um, the, in their generation, people were, did not have that mobility. And now the world is changing, and we have this mobility to, um, to go where, if we're fortunate, where we choose to go. Um, the world is getting smaller. And um, drawing on the idea of place, and being that it's Thanksgiving, um, I'm asking each soul here to draw, to think about peace and set our thoughts towards peace because the reality of man is his thoughts. And um, I'm asking each soul here to just, if we can set our thoughts towards peace, and carry that with us and try to carry out our deeds. Let our deeds, not our words, be our adorning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let, that be, let that be our focus um, on this day of Thanksgiving. And, and for those many people that aren't fortunate enough to be gathered in love and gathered in spiritual love and, and material love and or have food, i just like us all to take this day and try to carry this love with us wherever we go. And also, I would just like to say how much it means to me to be with all of you. This is just heartwarming. And it, you know, it's true, as we get older, it's, it, it means more. And, and also, I'd like to congratulate you and wish you the best of luck, the best of health and fortune and spirit and beautiful life. Wonderful. Beautiful. You're limited to ten minutes. <laughs> he can have the extra ten from mine. <laughs> Well, I, I, I want to tell you, first of all, that you yeah. <laughs>